Hey, what's up fam? So coming at you guys with the new vid video. Um, coming to you guys a new video today and uh, someone had the idea of uh, kind of just like, I guess like going over my enclosures and like how I like built them, I guess, or I guess it's kind of just showing them, right? Um, and so I guess that's what we'll do today. So let's take a look. Okay fam, so here's my first enclosure. This is my ball pipeline enclosure. Um, and so, you know, inside here, you got some plants and, you know, one hiding spot, big water bowl for him to soak in if he wants to. Um, another hide spot, and then another hide spot. That's his hot spot. And this is the cooler side. Then, it's a high ground thermometer. Um, and so yeah, for the background, I went to like my local, you know, little aquarium store where they sell fish, and I just uh, I cut one of the backgrounds. They had like a whole like roll of like uh, this like print or different prints, whatever. So I cut different ones that fit this dimension of this tank which is 36 by 18. Um, so yeah, this is my ball python lens. I think he likes it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, he has a lot of like places to hide and stuff like that. So if you're curious as to what substrate I use, I use cypress mulch. Um, it just holds humidity well for me. Uh, where I live, I live in Southern California, so uh, humidity here is pretty, uh, I would say like low. <laughs> Naturally, I would say it's about 30, 40% usually. Some days when it's dry, it's like even way less. So here's that's yeah. so this is Bella's enclosure, um, and so I, what I also do too is on the sides I black them out with window tint, not car window tint, but like house window tint. And what that does is it gives them some privacy, so that way they don't feel vulnerable from all the sides of their enclosure. As this is a glass enclosure, so you know you just don't want them to feel so vulnerable. But yeah, if you're wondering where he's at. He's hiding right in there. <laughs> so that's Bubba's enclosure. This light, if you're curious as to what light I use, it's called a, it's an LED light. It's a Stingray, it's called Stingray rather. And what's cool about these lights is that they don't really generate a lot of heat. And so, and they're also waterproof from what I was told. So, or water resistant, I guess. But anyways, waterproof, water resistant. Yeah. Anyways, so that's Bubba's enclosure. You know, this is my other enclosure. So same kind of setup. Like I said before, we're with the blacked out, you know, sides. You have a cool background. The background, as you can see, is just once again from like a, I think it's like a fish store, the like aquarium store. And I just like cut the background out from the prints that they had. As you can see, blacked out again on the sides. Same substrate. And so Greek vine wood and some some plants um, so this enclosure is for my boa constrictor and parader the jungle uh, his name is Bowie so this is where he lives um, I believe he's probably hiding in there people they can say what's up what's up buddy yeah, he's looking kind of mad <laughs> I'm just kidding he's never mad so yeah, that's Bowie's enclosure so once again, like the same setup, so it's not too much more to really describe in here, but this tank is a little bit smaller because Bowie here is just a baby. So this enclosure size that I have here is a 24, so that's 24 width by 18 height um, and 18 deep inches, that is. And all my enclosures are uh, double door. So I do double door enclosures. I like it. It locks from the front. You can also open from the top, but honestly, I, I really don't because uh, it's easy to accidentally leave them open. I did that one time and highly regret that. As you can see, like here, uh, here's the lock right here. But anyways, like one day I was putting in a new thermostat in the back for one of my tanks, and then um, I was a new I was a noob at the time. And I totally left that back corner little, it was just like one of these right here. I left this completely open. And then I woke up in the morning and the back corner was like wide open. I was like, dang, dude, where'd he go? And then um, lo and behold, he was hiding underneath 
uh, his tank isn't closing anymore. And it wasn't Bowie who, who escaped before, it was was actually this dude a long time ago in his old enclosure, which was this enclosure, which brings us to our next enclosure. So this one, yeah. So on this side, this is where Kiki lives. So this is my smallest enclosure I have. This one is an 18 by 18 by 18. Um, so 18 inches uh, width, 18 inches deep, 18 inches height. And so, you know, she has some plants. Climb on, you know, grapevine, um, hiding spot. Um, she's kind of in shed right now, so I'm not really trying to mess with her too much. You know, water bowl. She has another hide over here. She likes to burrow underneath it, as you can see. Some of the feeding videos you've seen before in the past, she likes to hide like right here or underneath her substrate and pop out <laughs> to get it. So it's kind of cool to see that sometimes. But yeah, so here's her enclosure. And so again, this is Kiki. She's also an albino, or she's an albino boa constrictor and parator. Um, and she's about, I want to say she's about maybe five, six months old, you know, so. These bows grow slowly, so because of that, you know, you don't have to really put them in like large enclosures right away. Um, so eventually, I will be moving. I will be moving. Uh, key, I'll be moving Kiki here over into an enclosure of this size right here. So I'm gonna buy another one of these. This is like once again, it's 24 by 18 by 18. So I'll, I'll get this for Kiki, the same size, and then I'll move this enclosure on top of the muscle rack up there and um this this new enclosure or this old this enclosure this 18 by 18 by 18 i'll put for uh my newest member which you can see kiki in there hiding let's see let's make it a shot say hi kiki <laughs> I'm moving this one up there, and um, I'll be putting a baby Brazilian rainbow bow right in here. These are tropical animals. They've asked, like, hey, like, how do you keep your enclosure? So, um, how do you keep the humidity on point? And so what I do to keep the humidity on point is, like, I have these, like, plastic, like, plexiglass cutouts that I got. Pretty much so what I did was I took the dimensions of the top. I took the dimensions at the top just like to a point like where it could rest on top of this, but not too much to the point where it was going to be laying on the locks. I just didn't want that. So anyways, like I said, I, just measured, I measured it, got the dimensions, and then went to Lowe's, and then they cut it for me. So anyways, yeah, all my, um, all my lights, or I'm sorry, all my enclosures have that stingray light that I was saying about, and um, all of my thermostats are inkbird, so that's one of them, but there's two more. See right there. Right. So is the other two. Boom. Like I said, uh, up here, this is where I'm gonna put the 18 by 18 by 18 enclosure. I'm gonna put up here. And then um, I'm gonna keep Kiki down there below. But I'm just gonna get another one of these enclosures. And so both of these will fit next to each other as this is 48 inches uh, wide. Yeah, so it's 40 inches wide. So this is a 24 inch width so technically it should be able to fit another 24. Like this is 18 so yeah you true to math. Um so up here like I said yeah baby Brazilian rainbow bow so you go right here. Um hey what's up fam so as you guys just saw we kind of went over my enclosures and just like kind of how I kind of designed and set them up and also how I've modified them just to make them work. Um, you know, because with glass terrariums, a lot of people complain about, you know, humidity or temperatures and stuff like that. So, as you know, in most of my videos, I do kind of talk about this awesome thing right here, which is a humidifier, and it just increases the humidity in your room. And that way, you don't have to spray down your enclosure so much. And I love that. I think it's really cool. Um, let's see. It's just that the stingray I was. Oh, man dust on my face. It's that stingray I was telling you about. These are the lights that I use. Um, I was thinking about like the, it's called a window film, that tent that I use for the sides of my enclosure. You know, I always like, man, I always recommend this to people just because it, it looks clean. So your enclosure looks like really nice, but 
then your 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 snake is actually like really chill chilled out oh sorry then your snake is actually chilled out and you have to worry about them being so like nervous all the time and it, i think it increases the you know the time period of them getting acclimated into their new environment so it really helps them out and i always feel bad like whenever i see i always feel bad whenever i see people with aquariums or terrariums i should say i always feel bad when i i see like glass enclosures that have like no background or no sides you know or nothing blocking the sides of the background i feel bad because like those snakes are probably like super stressed out um some some i guess don't mind i guess i don't know but uh i think it stresses them out and then you know then you have a more, a more defensive or i'm sorry with high stress, you know, you stress these snakes out. I feel like you then um, kind of put yourself in the position to get bit, um, the position of like, you know, them not wanting to eat, a whole bunch of things can happen. Anyway, so that's that fam. If you got any questions or comments, concerns, uh, please let me know. Uh, we can talk about it in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and once again, I just want to say thank you for watching and thanks for your support. Really appreciate it. Um, as you know, the collection is growing and it's really cool to, to grow with you guys and you guys to grow with us. Um, if you watch my channel, you know that we always wrap it up on what we call positive challenge of the day. You step outside of your comfort zone, but safely. I know that right now is uh, COVID-19. We got to rock our mask and stuff like that. So just be safe, whatever with that. But just, you know, try to do something that's outside of your comfort zone. Maybe it's like you're afraid of like a big snake, whatever, right? And so maybe why not go to a local reptile store and hold like a, you know, a big boa or hold a Burmese or something, you know, um, try it, you know, step outside your comfort zone. Uh, maybe you're afraid of spiders. Maybe go, maybe go hold a tarantula. I don't know, like break one of those like fears. Uh, I think it's really cool stepping outside of your comfort zone. And it's probably one of the most positive experiences ever. It's super scary, and then you get over that fear. It's a positive challenge of the day. Step outside of your comfort zone. Just do something, anything that's outside of your comfort zone. Uh, pretty straightforward. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. Um, that's it, fam. Anyways, have a good day. Peace. Black Hippie, out.